This is Kevin Tiemann with Fountain Pen Revolution, and today we're going to talk about how to smooth a scratchy fountain pen nib. Now, if you're a fountain pen user, this is a really annoying problem. You just bought a new fountain pen, or you pulled your favorite fountain pen out of the drawer, and you go to write with it, and you get this terrible scratching noise and scratching feel on the paper. Now, how are you going to go about fixing this problem? Well, we're going to talk about how to do that today with materials that you may already have at your home with you. Now, uh, what I'm holding here today is uh, the ocean coral color of our Trevaney Junior pen, but I've fitted it with an airmail nib. Now, airmail nibs have a reputation of being pretty scratchy, and I've found a particularly scratchy airmail nib that I've fitted on this pen. Now, uh, the most likely cause of a scratchy nib is actually a misalignment of the tines. Uh, fountain pens have two tines that come together and when you look at them from a side angle it should look like this. The tines are fit together but what what could happen is your one tine has become bent right and so in that case the tines might look more like this if you looked at it from a side angle through magnification and as you can imagine as you were to write across the paper this way this sharp edge of this part of the tipping would scrape across the paper. Now this is the most likely cause, as I mentioned, of a scratchy nib. So to find out what's causing your problem, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to look at your nib through some magnification. Now I typically use a 40 time uh, jeweler loop, which you can get online somewhere, but you most likely have some sort of magnifying glass lying around your house. And as long as it's got at least a solid five to ten times magnification. It may be enough to see what the problem is with your, your nib tipping. I found this magnifying glass in my kid's room and so we're going to look at this nib and what you're going to do is you're going to want to look at the nib from both sides. Looking at it from one angle and looking at it from another to try to see if one of the tines might be bent farther forward than the other. And in fact on this nib, uh, this right tine over on this side is bent farther forward and in fact I can even see some uh, paper particles in the nib because it's so scratchy and so that's causing the nib to scratch as I drag it across the paper. So the way we're going to fix this and you may be able to fix it even without removing the nib from the pen you can actually often uh, find out which tine is misaligned and just take your fingernail and bend back the tine that needs to be moved back and bend forward the tine that needs to be moved forward and then continue to use your magnification and keep checking it until you've got it bent properly back into place. And that looks just about right. Now, so once you've checked the alignment of the times, then you would want to uh, write with your pen again. Now I'm writing without ink right now just because you get sort of a more of effect of the scratch. But you can hear, hopefully you can hear that in the video, there's still, there's still some scratchiness to this nib. So what to do in that case? Now I typically use uh, 4,000 and 8,000 grit micro mesh pads for this, but you may have 4,000 and 8,000 grit uh, micro mesh sanding pads at your house and you didn't even know it. If you're a lady and watching this video, you may own one of these. It's a nail buffer for polishing your nails. Um, not a regular nail file that just has one grit, but one of these types of nail files that often has three or sometimes even four types of grit. Normally uh, the roughest grit is around 2,000 grit, but then the next step up will be about 4,000 and the next step up will be about 8,000. And this is a great material, a great tool to be able to polish and smooth your scratchy fountain pen nib. So how we're going to go about doing that? Well, what I do is uh, I start by polishing on the 4,000 grit, not, not the roughest one, but the smoother one. Uh, I start by holding the nib on the side, and what I'm going to do first is I'm going to rotate the nib counterclockwise while spinning the pin so that I'm polishing each part of the tipping of this nib. Okay, so we're going to draw some counterclockwise circles while we rotate the nib on this 4000 grit sanding pad. And then we're going to do exactly the opposite. I'm going to draw clockwise circles while rotating the nib in the opposite direction. 
Okay, I'm holding the pen at approximately the angle that I would use for writing, and I'll do this process two or three times. Okay, then I will repeat the process on the 8,000 grit side. This side is a little smoother, and so we'll have more of a polishing effect, making the nibs smoother. Now it's also wise to do some side-to-side -side motions, some up-and-down motions, some diagonal motions, just trying to get that nib smooth from every possible angle. And then what you can do is take it back to your paper. If you feel that it's smooth enough, now I'm finding this nib right now is writing pretty smooth when I'm writing uh, left to right, but this is a little scratchy when I'm writing right to left. And so let me take it back to the 4,000 grit side and just uh, polish it a little bit more, especially right to left. Take it back to the 8,000 side. You might even want to stop and look through your, your nib through magnification again and see if there's any, you know, there could be just a barb sticking out that you need to make note of. This is starting to look pretty smooth. And yeah, it's certainly sounding smoother on the paper. I think we've got it enough for a dip testing. Dip test your nib. And sure enough, we now have a smooth fountain pen nib. I hope this was helpful.